Hey guys, this is Giridhar here and welcome to another review video. Zenfone Max 2015 was a 5.5 inch device with a powerful processor and a large battery and all that of it packed in a relatively thin form factor. Fast forward 6 months and we have a refreshing upgrade for the Zenfone Max. The internals have got a huge upgrade and now the Zenfone Max has a powerful Snapdragon 615 processor with 2GB or 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. With respect to design, nothing has changed when compared to the earlier version of the Zenfone Max. So let's not hang around it too much. The sides are not entirely metal and there is a plastic edge around the display. I dropped my mobile accidentally and the plastic corner got a serious damage but the mobile did not sustain any functional damage. The display is also intact though the fall was pretty bad on a tar road from a waist height. The Zenfone Max is now available in orange and blue apart from the usual black and white colors. The display is also the same as we saw in the earlier Zenfone Max. It is a 5.5 inch screen which supports HD display. Screen is protected by Corning Glass 4 but my display got scratched by pulling it out of my jeans pocket. The display quality is good but we have seen better displays in this price range. The display has good black and white levels. The color showed no banding. Saturation levels are natural. The screen has good viewing angles. I have no issue with the display but still I wish the upgrade gave it also a full HD display. The new Zenfone Max is powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. It's got a 2 GB of RAM and there's also a 3 GB RAM variant. Both these variants come with 16 GB of internal storage. The graphic processor is Adreno 405. While playing graphically rich games, the mobile did have some isolated frame drops. While opening up games or even between levels, the loading was painfully long. But once loaded, the game did run smoothly. Graphically intensive games had signs of frame drops and stuttering and this is more evident on prolonged gaming. There is a lag even while using the apps in the mobiles. Probably the 3GB variant would have shown less lagging. Snapdragon 615 is a mid-range processor and the Zenfone Max makes full use of its power. The device did get warm but it never overheats. Just like the earlier Zenfone Max, the new Zenfone Max has also got a 13 megapixel primary sensor with a f2.0 lens. The camera is assisted by a laser autofocus sensor and a dual LED flash. It can record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera. The images from the rear camera are sharp and performs well under daylight. The laser focus works like a charm and focusing is very fast. Getting the right shots under low light conditions is a bit of a challenge. The shutter is not fast and you really need a steady hand to get the right shot. The front camera also does a good job and it is good for selfies under ample light conditions. Well, apart from the internals, the Zenfone Max now runs on Android 6.0.1 out of the box with Zen UI on top. The Zen UI has got a bunch of pre-installed applications but this time around Android 6 makes a huge difference. With macro level permission management and effective memory management, using apps on the Zenfone Max gives a better user experience. There are little changes here and there in the UI which makes a huge difference in the user experience. The cache cleaner is now integrated with the task manager. Clearing the task also clears the cache memory. Overall the UI is fast and snappy. It does lag a bit but it is definitely smoother than the likes of TouchWiz or the Sense UI. The day ASUS gets rid of all the preloaded apps or enable them to be installed on demand, Zen UI will climb up the list to be one of my favorite mobile UIs in the market. The massive 5000 mAh battery is the highlight of the device. It lasts for almost 2 days on intensive usage and about 3 days on regular usage. But the painful part is the charging time. It takes more than 4 to 5 hours for the mobile to charge from 0 to 100 percentage. I wish ASUS has also upgraded the new Zenfone Max with the fast charging capability. But once charged up, the battery is immortal. This is my reliable go-to mobile during my travel or any long day away from home or office. It can also lend this battery charge to other devices. It comes bundled with an OTG cable that can be used to connect the other mobiles or devices to charge it up. The Zenfone Max has got an impressive battery life. I get up to 8 hours of screen on time on intensive usage and uh, it lasts for almost 3 days on normal usage. The new ASUS Zenfone Max has the same design and form factor as the older variant. The advantage is that the accessories and other fittings are easily available now. But it is still bulky and heavy at 200 grams. 
I would have loved to see a fresh design from ASUS. ASUS didn't want to try anything crazy with the new Zenfone Max. They took a winning formula of the earlier Zenfone Max and just made it better. The display on the Max is HD and I wish it had a full HD display. The 2GB variant offers better value for money and it's got a decent performance for the day-to-day -day applications. The camera on this mobile is also decent. The laser focus and pixel master algorithm takes this average camera hardware and helps you click some awesome shots. The new Max runs on Android M and the UI offers considerable improvements in terms of features and functionalities. Battery is a beast and this is one department where the Zenfone Max overshadows all its competitors to come out as winner. So thanks for watching the video, this is Giridhar signing off.